Now more with Mark Riccadonna. Oh, man. You guys are a good crowd. You never know what to expect from a Wednesday show, you know? I did a show in Pittsburgh. It was a benefit for breast cancer, and these people were drinking heavily. I mean, real heavily. In the middle of the show, some drunk guy just yells out at me, Save them bodies! What do you say to a guy like that? You know, I wasn't sure what to do, so I just started talking to him. The guy tells me he wants to be a doctor. I don't think that's going to work out for him. No, it wasn't because of what he said. It was how he said it, because I noticed he ended his sentences with and sh <laughs> Every once in a while, I go, and whatnot. And I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure nobody here wants to go to their doctor tomorrow near him like, yeah, we was checking out your x-rays and now there's something wrong with your bones and whatnot. <laughs> going to cut you up. It's going to be mad money, son. Doctors shouldn't talk. Like that. People of importance shouldn't talk like that. No one here wants to turn on the TV and see the president of the United States like, we're going over to Afghanistan and <laughs> Going to find terrorists and whatnot. <laughs> Wait, we do have a guy like that. <laughs> Old George W. W stands for Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him. I gotta be honest. As a comic, he's gold. <laughs> Every time he's on TV, I watch him because I'm always waiting for him to look into the camera and be like, "Live from New York, it's Saturday night." <laughs> he does a lot of other things I think is funny. You guys ever notice he laughs inappropriately? <laughs> He'll just be talking. He's like, "We're patriots. Yes, we are." Does he do that in his regular life? You know, like when he proposed to his wife, was he like, honey, I love you. You're the only one for me. <laughs> I think we should get married and <laughs> have some kids and whatnot. I rag on the president, but I do like the troops. Do we have anybody here who has a brother, sister, somebody in the military? Give them a round of applause because they're doing amazing work. I just did a show for the Marines. That show was cool. After the show, the sergeant came over to me and he said, do you know they're comparing this generation with the generation that went through Vietnam? I was like, I don't think you can do that, sir. I mean, I'm no expert, but I've seen enough movies on the Vietnam War to know we don't have the soundtrack. <laughs> think about that. Every good movie you've ever seen about Vietnam, the helicopter comes over the battlefield. You know the day destroys the night, night divides the day. If we did that now, the helicopter would come up sideways, you dear. Go shorty, it's your birthday. <laughs> That's not as intimidating, right? Seeing a tank going over a sand dune with 20 inch chrome rims and bitches dancing on the back. I did that joke in Atlanta and a guy yelled out, make the bitches clap. Make the bitches clap. That's a saying now. He's like, you yeah, drop it down, make it clap. That sounds gross. I mean, I make my ass clap, but that's in the morning. I'm by myself. I originally grew up in Youngstown. I, uh, I went to high school there. I, uh, I was a wrestler in high school. Anyone here wrestled when they were younger? Yeah. Were you any good? You look like you were good. I was actually 45 and 0. That's an amazing record. Well, you'd be surprised though how many forfeits you get when you come out in a pink singlet <laughs> and an erection. <laughs> I'd just come out before the match. <laughs> I think we'll all do well today. <laughs> well, I gotta warn you, man. One time a guy called me on that. <laughs> He wanted to wrestle anyway. <laughs> I'm not that good. <laughs> In fact, I thought I was going to lose until I came. <laughs> I love the joke for this pure reason. What's your, what's your name? Courtney. Courtney, you laughed. You just let it out. And what's your name? Jordan. Jordan? So you started to laugh. <laughs> then you pictured it. 
Jordan immediately quit laughing. <laughs> My impression of Jordan during that joke was like, ha <laughs> ha! That's cool, that was a homophobic joke. I don't want to offend anybody, I'm not homophobic. I'll tell you what I am. It doesn't have a name yet. Uh, <laughs> Homosexual doesn't bother me, bisexual doesn't bother me, heterosexual I understand. What I don't get is metrosexual. You know what I'm talking about. Because to me, metro means city. So these city f***ers, they're ruining for us regular guys, Jordan, because they plant seeds in you girls' heads. They say, girls like guys that shave their chest. Is that true? Yeah. Yes, not if you dated me, I'm Italian. <laughs> I'm hairy. If I shave any part of my body and you saw me naked, you'd think I was a brown Teletubby. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. I'm Mark Rigadonna. Thank you so much. Check out more about Mark, including upcoming projects at myspace.com slash Mark Coming up, Mountain Dew local comedian of the week, Mike Paramore.